uh, one of the largest aquaponic farms uh, in the country and in the state of California. Uh, one of the very few aquaponic farms that I know. And then I was spending a lot of time because you know a lot of my clients were wanting organic, were wanting the freshest products possible, and I was promising that stuff. So I had to take trips up to Santa Monica farmers markets, or I had to go down to San Diego to Chino Farms and get produce. So I spent a lot of time in traffic, and I started thinking. You know, gosh, there's got to be an easier way. So of course I did like everybody else and I start building planter beds in my backyard and I start growing plants in the backyard, produce. Then you got the dogs ripping up the drip lines and you got weeds and you're spending all this time messing with these planter beds that you're not really getting much done so it wasn't as efficient. So I kind of fell back on you know, some of the farming that I'd done and when I was 15 years old I had gotten into hydroponics. So I fell back on that and started playing around with growing hydroponically. And then within about a year, a year and a half, I you know, ran into aquaponics just online, found somebody who was kind of doing it in their backyard, uh, was talking about it, called that guy up and he says, Adam, there's really no place to go. You got to just kind of do it yourself and just build the system and learn that way. So that's what I did. So for us, you know, we start off here, we have a hatchery, produce the baby fish, Aqua, you know, aquaponics is aquaculture. The two sciences, aquaculture and hydroponics, both of those sciences put together. So they believe that the Indians were doing this back in the day. They were floating uh, little floating islands on top of the lakes and growing their produce on it. Um, so the science has been around. It's just, you know, we found a way, you know, of, of pretty much utilizing a lot of the things that either we have at the restaurants or a lot of items that, you know, other people are going to throw away and, and building systems out of them, um, utilizing, uh, uh, you know, reusing items really to be able to grow food out of them. Um, so here we have tilapia. We produce anywhere from 1,000 to 3,000 fish a month when things are rocking and rolling. Um, we have you know, anywhere from three to four pound fish when we harvest them, which is larger than I think most fish out there tilapia size wise. Um, you know, all, of our all of our fish are fed here in an organic diet with stuff that we're growing on the farm. Um, so we, we, we feed our fish uh, a couple different things, some in the form of algae when they're really small and getting older to uh, duckweed which is super high in protein. It's got like 48% protein, which is kind of like some of, uh, I think it's higher than most of your leafy greens even. I think maybe, you know, uh, kale or something like that is in the 38 range of protein. But, uh, so it tastes kind of like watercress. It's, um, you know, the fish, it's, it's, it helps filter the water, clean the water, uh, as well as provide, you know, good fish, for the, good food for the fish. That's the whole thing about Future Foods Farms is, sustainable. In fact, it's funny because we've actually had some schools come out here and we've had some of the students that have said, you know, the teacher will ask them, you know, why is Future Foods Farms called Future Foods Farms? And these, these students will say, because this farm has the, 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 the way to feed the future, you know, in the world, you know, the, or to feed the world in the future, you know. So what we do with water conservation is we can produce one head of lettuce with one gallon of water, whereas soil, conventional farming, growing in soil, uh, whether you're doing a drip line to hose, watering in the backyard, they estimate it takes 10 to 15 gallons of water to produce a head of lettuce. So we can produce that with one gallon of water. We grow a lot of microgreens as well, which have, are super high in phytonutrients. A um, lot of beneficials there. Great to put on anything from sandwiches to tacos to garnishing a steak or a piece of seafood with it. Um, it's, it's, it's another element that I think you'll see a lot of restaurants pit, starting to utilize. Uh, we sell at about 12 to 15 farmers markets a week throughout Orange County.